Welcome to the dream world. Where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Aaron Motebi. On the dream line. Welcome to the dream world. And here we go straight away to the interpretation on dream line one. The first dream is coming from Justine. Hello, this is Justine. I dreamt removing pads with blood under my mane's bed. What could be the meaning of this? Thank you. Justine, Justine. Uh, pads means they had blood. Uh, pads it is a They had. You get her. So there are six interpretations of blood. I've had many people um, uh, dreaming about this blood. I mean, blood. And because of your dream, I want to give you the six interpretations when you dream blood. Now, when anybody listen here uh, dreams about blood, you will not have to send your dream because I've already given you interpretation in advance. Dreaming blood number one indicates wealth and it often implies good luck or fortune. Unfortunately, that is the first meaning of blood. And somebody might think it will be meaning something else. However, this is just the prevailing interpretation. When you dream blood generally. But there are other interpretations of blood apart from this one. For example, when a woman dreams about blood, it may suggest menstruation or pregnancy or miscarriage. That is the second meaning of when you dream about blood. Thirdly, when men the, other one, the, the first one was general interpretation of blood. The second one was when a woman dreams about blood. The third one is when a man dreams about blood. When a man dreams blood, this may suggest the fear of a female body or sex. And it may prevent you from marrying or getting married in the future. Number four, when generally anybody, whether man or woman, dreams about gushing of blood. When you dream like that, it may suggest your inner intention or self-sacrifice. It might lead you to commit suicide. Like these people who burnt themselves during this coronavirus. So that one may cause damage to somebody's life if you dream gushing of blood. Now, I'm not saying blood that comes out of the nose. Or blood when you cut yourself with a leather bread. That is not gushing. But blood like when a vehicle knocks you and blood begins to gush out. Like a river. So that one is not very good also. It suggests your inner intention of self-sacrifice. Then number five. Dream about yourself or someone else bleeding. This may be uh, the normal dream uh, bleeding from the nose. Cutting yourself when you are peeling off the nails. Normal, normal bleeding. Or you have been digging and the hole cut you somewhere. Or you have been walking and you knock a stone on the road. 
road and that's that's that 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 medium bleeding uh, that one implies that you are overtired and in mental stress it means that you should look for a time to rest and adjust and then meaning number six when you dream about blood is when you dream you are bleeding out you yourself this may suggest that you lose your life or bear the pain or losing someone you love beside this it may also indicate that you will suffer a defeat financial loss or even bankruptcy so go back and rewind your whatsapp your facebook and your twitter and your uh, instagram and re-hear these words again. The six interpretations when you dream about blood. So Justine, choose from these six what interpretation fits you. The second dream is coming from, uh, uh, from uh, Violet. 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 The second dream is coming from Violet. Greetings, Musumba. I'm Violet. I have a boyfriend whom, ha whom have been keeping a sec. I have a boyfriend whom I've been keeping as a secret from my pastors, but some of my family members know him because we have because we have int I have introduced him to them. He's a born again but prays from Anglican Church and always complains about me being at the church all the time because me I'm a minister in a church. Now I dreamed when our OG had come to visit me and we were eating. He also came to visit me and I served the lunch to, to both my visitors. But I served one plate for me and him I kept feeding him in front of my visitors without fear and in reality I'm somehow shy and the visitor Carol kept telling us how we look good together, that we should get married. Eventually, my church members also came home and found my boyfriend there. And they were also shocked, asking me why I hid him from them. But finally, we talked and they ended up saying we should both get married because we deserve each other. Kindly, Msuma, help me to interpret this GBU. GBU, Church. Okay. God bless you. <laughs> you can't, no, no, no. Violet, your dream means. Violet, you should not touch together. GBU, okay. Okay. Uh, I am so reserved. I am so reserved when it comes to the dreams of love and marriage. I have very, very little approval for confirming a marriage because of a dream. I don't normally encourage dreams of marriage as proof that you are going to get married that person. In a dream, somebody may say all sorts of things like all these people are saying to you that you match, the boy loves you, why have you been hiding him from us? This should be the person for you. People may say this and this and this and this about marriage and getting married. They may dream, they may even see visions, you getting married, you're on a wedding, you're in a limousine, you're cutting the cake, all those things people may dream about you. But the, at the end of everything, you are the one to make the decision that's what the Bible said. You don't make your decision depending on the dream. You make a decision to marry somebody or to get married to somebody 
according to your own decision when you are not asleep and when you are not in a dream. So Violet, according to this dream, don't go with it. It may be a suggestion that you are prepared for marriage. But you are the one soberly awake to make the final decision if you are interested in this man. Don't base your decision on what people told you in that dream. Make that decision yourself. After making thorough check and seeing how he behaves and other things and make you make that decision. The next dream is coming from Sylvia. Praise God, Pastor Aaron, I'm Sylvia. I dreamt when I had gone to the tailor to get my clothes for my introduction. Kuhinjira, no, no, limbo, fumbo. And they were very cute. After I was going home, I met my boyfriend, uh, Auntie Ulira, also going to pick his suit, but he did not know I was coming from some place, though he was very happy and excited about introducing me to his parents. See, in the dream that day was Thursday and the introduction was to be on Saturday. Please, Pastor, help me interpret for me my dream. Be blessed. Uh, Sylvia, your dream is about preparing yourself for possible marriage. Sylvia, yes, possible marriage. Yes, it, can, it can be possible. This is an alert. It is an uh, 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 okay, it is it is an alert that you 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 might get soon getting into marriage. But as I told to Violet, you don't marry somebody or getting married to somebody because you saw him in a dream. May I boldly say, partners are not seen in dreams. Even if somebody tells you I want to marry you in a dream You know my wife saw me Before I even married her As a matter of fact It is my wife who saw me first But he didn't, I did not get married to a dream We had to pray We had to believe God We looked after each other We, we were in courtship I was born in 1986 I married her in 1989 Three years of courtship Three by the time I went in love in her, she was 16 years of age. We, we had no sex with her until the day of marriage. So we were in relationship for three years until 1989. But our decision was not based on the dream. It was based on reality. In my heart, I was looking for a woman who fears God. By that time I was a pastor already. I wanted somebody who could stand by my side. I was not after a size, skin color, height, height. Because many of you look at that. For me, I was looking for a woman who could stand by me. I didn't even beautiful girls in church will be around me speaking with me. She will still remain trusting me. And she has bared with them for 31 years. They are always around me here. In there are so many. But because I married a woman that I trusted to stand with me, we have now celebrated 31 years. Seven children, six grandchildren. So we don't get married 
to dreams. We don't see married partners in dreams. We might see them in dreams. But the choice and the decision must be made when we are awake. Hallelujah. Amen. So Sylvia, begin to pray that God will bring a man into your life and you make the decision by yourself. The next room is from Julian. 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 Agamba. Hello, man of God. I'm Julian. Yesterday I gave my friend a birthday present, and then at night I dreamt when she was serving food to me. She gave me two big portions of two types of food, and she and said, I am not supposed to have everything from this buffet. She then served someone else who had seated in the front the whole buffet. Even now. I told her, I don't want to. I don't want a lot of food. I put back the food and I decided to serve myself the whole buffet. And she looked on. You served yourself the whole buffet? Eh -eh. She seemed like she was not pleased. Of course, Nebo Yembena and Sibela pleased. Serving yourself a whole buffet. I, I, I was very happy after serving myself the buffet. <laughs> and, <laughs> Julian. And last year, I dreamt when she was in her room, but half naked. Uh, when she when she saw me, she started hiding. Pastor, is this a warning from God? Julian, your dream is not a warning from God. Your dream is all about your job. If at all you are employed. If you are employed or if you have a job or if you have somewhere you work, your dream is about that. It has nothing to do with anything else. It is about financial independence. When you see the dream, you dream somebody was supposed to serve you food at the buffet that means you are either employed and somebody just pay you a salary at the end of the month but because you skipped the service and you served yourself the whole buffet you are that means that even if though you are paying a salary at the end of the month, time is coming when you are going to self-serve yourself financially with your own company, your own investment, your own business. In other words, you are about to get your own wealth. Income generating things. Like uh, border borders. Like taxis. Like, taxis, like trucks. Like housing. Like rentals. So you, you, you are about to get your own own financial independence. So this is my advice to you. When that financial independence comes, you are able to serve yourself. I suggest that you can still keep the other jobs you are having. They still serve you at the buffet. buffet. And at the end of the day, you can also serve yourself independently out of your independent income generating That is the meaning, Julian. Now, the last dream in Dreamline 1 is coming from Jordan. Hello, Pastor. I'm Jordan. I had a dream last night that I went to sleep and dreamt in a dream that my mother had died with a baby. But to me, I was arguing in that original dream that it was just a dream. But again, I dreamt that my mom had has died. And in that dream, my sister told me that it is my dad who killed my mom. But I was crying a lot in that dream. So in the morning after coming out of the dream, I called my mom and she told me that she also dreamt the same thing when my dad is killing her. So pastor, I don't understand the dreaming and in the same dream I also dreamt again what my mom dreamt help me interpret it pastor. Now the central dream part of this message here is about death. Regarding who kills you. 
Whether it is your dad, whether it is your enemy, whether it is an accident, whether it is a tree falling on you, death means death. Dream of death is dream of death's regard. Whether it is poison killing you, it is death. So Jordan, you should you should, you should rise up at this occasion and begin to cancel every ordinance of death and hell against your life against your loved ones against your mom and against your family rise up at this occasion and fight it and when a dream happens three or two times and more it is very serious you dreamt it your mother dreamt it and then you dreamt what your mother dreamt so death is lingering around you around your mama around your parents around your family so rise up and fight it in Jesus name but also death might mean that a certain area of your life is targeted for death a certain part of your life like your marriage this death might mean that your mama's marriage might at be at the end of death or your daddy's marriage or your own marriage or one of your relatives marriage is about to die it might all not mean some financial death. It might even mean one of your organs is about the verge of death. Or your mother's, or your mom, your mother's one of the organs. It can be a kidney, it can be kidney, it can be a liver, it can be a pancreas, is at the verge of dying. So be serious with this. Because it happened three times. And the Bible says, where two or three witnesses appear, let every word be confirmed. If your mama is born again, encourage him to how to pray and to fast. If you are born again, go into prayer and fasting. You can choose a day in a week to fast. And break every ordinance of death and hell from off your life, off your family, off your mom, and off your loved ones. I will also be praying with you because every dream is written in my book. That is the end of dream interpretation on Dreamline 1. We are going to give before I pray for you and we normally give online. It is 0759 75 Three, zero. Now we are going to give to the Lord. Remember, I told you this month of September is a month of Thanksgiving. Anyone who misses this opportunity to send a Thanksgiving offering, you will be the one to blame. The man of God, the prophet, has told you the voice and the mind of God. We must thank the Lord. In this month, we must thank the Lord. We must thank the Lord. So please, endeavor to send your thanksgiving offering on this dream, dream line number. 0759 75 We shall receive it and we shall pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, here are some of the nine who had not
not come to thank you but they have chosen to thank you because they have listened to the voice of the man of God. You said one day in Luke chapter 17 and verse 17 and you said didn't I heal of reprise a ten people only one has returned to thank me where are the nine you are among the nine those who are sending your thanksgiving offering and I pray that God's blessing may cover you God's hand of provisions may cover you. The hand of success may cover you. And may God give you the power to create wealth. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for sending your thanksgiving offerings. Your tithes and your financial seeds. God richly bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now I bring to you Justin and Violet and Sylvia and Julian and Jordan. I bring them to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Fight all their battles. Defeat their enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every evil, every evil dream be destroyed now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, dreams of death, dreams of evil, dreams of accidents, dreams of poverty, I break you today. In the name of Jesus, all blood dreams I rebuke you now. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the hand of God to be upon you. May the hand of God prosper you. May God bring build a bridge against you and over you so that wherever there is evil you may cross over the bridge may the blood of Jesus surround you and protect you may the hedge and the protection of God surround your life. In the name of Jesus. No evil shall come unto you. No evil. Even coronavirus. Will not come nigh unto you. Even as schools are preparing to open. I pray that your children will be saved. As they go to school. And they come back home. May the Lord protect your family members. May the Lord protect your life. May you see his goodness in the land of all In the name of Jesus. A thousand will fall on your left side. And ten thousand on your right hand. But no plague shall come near unto thy dwelling place. In the name of Jesus. Be protected. Be kept safe. May the hand of God rest upon you. I call upon God's hand upon you, upon your children, upon your loved ones, upon your marriage, upon your businesses, upon your investments. Let the hand of God be upon your loved ones. In the name of Jesus, hand of God, protect my friends. Hand of God, protect my brothers and sisters. In the name of Jesus, thank you Lord. Thank you Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Once again, Nate. this is your brother and friend, Eroni Motebi, Eroni Motebi of the Dream World and on the Dream Line. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mina. And amen. Welcome to the Dream World, where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Eroni Motebi on the Dream Line.